Hello everyone, happy 1st of March to you. Yes, it's time to reveal what I'll be using for Vacuum of the Month for the month of March 2022 and to tell you how I got on with this SIBO Felix and all the extra tools I've been using. And I have to say, I'm going to be pretty sad to see this SIBO Felix go because it has proved itself to be a very accomplished vacuum cleaner. It's ideally suited to my home and the way I clean. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know how much I like SIBO as a brand and certain SIBO vacuum cleaners. Not every SIBO vacuum cleaner, they're not perfect. And this SIBO Felix Pet isn't perfect, but it's as near perfect as I can get. There are a few little changes I would make if I was on the SIBO design team. But on the whole, this has been a joy to use this month. One accessory I would definitely recommend you buy, whether you get a SIBO Felix or an X series upright. If it doesn't come as standard, buy the SIBO extension hose because it really makes a difference. The SIBO does have a hose attached, but it's very short and it's only designed for quickly pulling out of the machine and just grabbing some dust in a corner. It's okay when you're using it on upholstery. But the cleaner, because the hose enters the top, can topple if you're not holding the machine as you're using the accessories. So with this extension hose, what I've been doing, I've laid the cleaner on the floor, just laid it flat so there's no chance of it toppling over. Plug the hose into the hose on the machine and then I've got flexibility to clean most of the room, all around the edges, the upholstery, the curtains. I've done Venetian blinds this month using the optional larger dusting brush. So I had the cleaner in the bedroom where the blinds were connected the extension hose, laid the cleaner down, and I was able to reach both sets of blinds, so two windows in the particular bedroom. Then I put on the upholstery nozzle, which is on board, and I vacuumed, thoroughly vacuumed the curtains. And then I fitted one of the wands, and then popped the dusting brush back on and did all the tops of the uh, curtain rails, the tops of the door frame, tops of the wardrobe, um, just generally dusted all around and then using the other onboard tool, the crevice tool, I went around all the corners and everything. So this cleaner is a complete system for cleaning your home. Obviously it doesn't shampoo, but it cleans carpets and floors very well and it does all the above floor jobs. But as I said, really you need this to increase the versatility. And obviously I've got extra attachments so you don't get a standard. The combi nozzle does come as standard, so you've got straight suction nozzle for carpets and hard floors. Although I found I hardly ever used it because the ET1 power head is equally effective on hard floors. You just turn the power head off, lower the, um, the setting to about one or two, depending on the floor surface, and it's more than adequate. And then of course, in the edges around my kitchen between my appliances where my fridge freezer and wall is I can attach the wand and the crevice tool and just go around the edges and uh, also because this is the pet version it comes with the mini turbo tool so again you can attach it to the hose on the machine or use the extension hose using the extension obviously you will be able to reach up a standard flight of stairs so you can use the mini turbo brush for stair cleaning or the smaller nozzle and then go around the edges with your crevice tool. So all in all, you know, if someone pushes me and wants a recommendation for vacuum cleaner, this is the one I recommend the most. It might not suit every single person, but it suits me. And I've used an awful lot of vacuum cleaners, as you'll know if you've followed my channel for quite some time. I, I've used, well, in my lifetime, I expect thousands, well, more than, I don't know, I've never kept count, but certainly a lot of vacuum cleaners have passed through my hands. I've used them more than the average person in several lifetimes would ever use. So I, I have an idea of, of what suits me, but it suits my home. It might not suit your home. But as I said, if you want a reliable German-made versatile upright cleaner, 
take a look at the Felix and try it out in your home. If you can buy it from a store that allows you to try it out and return it, even better. But not many people have not liked the Felix. I've had a few comments recently, um, most recently from a chap who was replacing a Dyson with a Felix and he was blown away by it. So that, that's really gratifying to know that uh, they took my advice on board and decided to buy one. And again, I'll have to point out, I'm not affiliated with SIBO or any vacuum cleaner manufacturer. This is my own personal experience. I know they're reliable. I bought my mum the SIBO Felix Navy. I don't know, it must be 14, 15 years ago now, and it still works. It's been serviced by myself, but nothing major, just the sort of servicing you need to do by, you know, replacing the filter. I think it had a new brush roll and just keeping it clean but it's not need anything major done to it. If you want to see this Felix in action, I did a Valentine's Day special on the 14th of February, and I actually put down quite a bit of dirt on carpets and floors and uh, used the various tools. So if you want to see it actually cleaning, then uh, check out that video. If you remember back in January, I was using a bagless Miele cylinder vacuum cleaner, which was uh, quite a mess to empty and maintain. And I know that this machine will not be anywhere near as messy to maintain or empty because it is a bagged cleaner. I know, shocking, how old fashioned. He's using a bagged cleaner that you have to plug into the wall. Like I said, I've used a lot of vacuum cleaners. I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. I don't pretend to be an expert. I'm just an over consumer of the humble vacuum cleaner. So I've used, as I said, I've used tons and tons of them and I will go back to bags. I'll always go back to bags. Bags and corded for me are what suit me. If you want bagless and cordless, go for it. It's your money and you take the choice. So inside the machine is a bag. Now I did take the bag out. If you saw my demo video, I put a new bag in for that and then replaced it with the bag I've been using you know, around my home. When I took the bag out, I did knock off this. This is a little seal that normally is attached to the bag, but it broke off when I was uh, mucking about with it, taking it out. So anyway, it's still there. So this is just the dust and dirt I've cleaned up from a month of use. Obviously, February is a bit of a shorter month. And well, it is pretty full. I mean, there's still a lot of space. I, it, I can feel there is, it's probably a lot of pet hair, which is filling this bag. You can see, look, I can still continue to use this bag until it is solid like a brick. I won't guarantee that you won't get some suction loss, but not a great deal. It will still continue to pick up. I can use this probably another month, maybe a bit more in my home, obviously. Home sizes vary and the type of dirt you pick up varies. So that is as dirty as it gets. When that does eventually fill up to the top, I just take that out and fit a new bag. No cleaning of filters, no dust on my hands, and no dust inside the bag compartment. That is still very, very clean. So there we go, that's uh, the SIBO. Felix, this is the pet version. I've shown you my other videos, many different versions available. The basic cleaner is more or less the same. You can get different designs. So it's been going for many, many years, the Felix. It's still a current model. What I would like to see, you know, if in my wish list, I would make some changes to the ET1 powerhead. It is a very good powerhead, and many people in the trade who sell vacuum cleaners, higher end vacuums, recommend this ET1 powerhead that's fitted to the Felix and selected SIBO canister machines. I'd like to see, obviously, nowadays we have LED headlights. SIBO incorporated an LED light on their X-Series upright, so maybe incorporate an LED headlight. I'd like to see a foot-operated switch. You can operate this with your foot to turn off the brush roll, but it's quite small. So I'd like to see a larger textured foot switch so it's easier to turn the power head on or off or even a switch on the handle of the machine so you don't even have to use your foot. Maybe even slightly redesign the back to give 
larger wheels and I would say do this on the X7 series as well. They are quite small wheels and on plush thicker pile carpets it might be better to have a wheel that's a bit larger in circumference but apart from that there's not much a change I mean it is a very effective power head and obviously well there's not a lot you can do with the attached hose to make it longer without it really spoiling the look of the machine so that is a bit of a niggle using the hose but with the extension hose I showed you earlier it's not such an issue so this can be an all around the home cleaner for everything with the optional attachments so it's a fond farewell for now to the SIBO Felix Pet and time to introduce the vacuum cleaner I'll be using for the month of March. I am behind you, I always find you. I am the tiger, tiger, tiger. A line from an ABBA song there because the cleaner I'll be using for spring cleaning month is the Vovac Tiger canister vacuum cleaner. This was available officially in the UK for a quite short period of time. It's not available anymore, not on Forvex website. And I was glad to get one when I did. And also glad to get one when it had a Black Friday offer. It is a very attractive, unusual looking vacuum cleaner, or should I say, unusual cleaning system because the Tiger is designed not only just to vacuum your carpets and floors, it can also wash your hard floors, freshen up your carpets, clean your windows, freshen up your bedding, clean your mattresses. It does everything. A bit like a Kirby, but in a more modern, attractive design that's more suited to a UK and European home because this machine is not very heavy and it's not huge either. Okay, well, let's have a look at the Tiger and all the accessories I'll be using with it. The Tiger or Cobalt VT300 is a very, very expensive vacuum cleaner, especially when you add all the optional accessories. I won't tell you how much all this costs. Do your own research, Google it, and then come back in the comments and tell me how you would never spend that much money on a vacuum cleaner. But it's okay, you don't have to because I have. I'll show you it in action. I'll show you it doing all the things it can do. And then you might change your mind and think, well, it's possibly worth it because it does such a lot. I still think I've had this a while. It's not worth the money. I love it. It's a fantastic looking machine, but it is not worth what Volverk charge for it. And I have to say none of their products are worth the price they put on them. They are ridiculously expensive. But anyway, saying that, I've got a vacuum cleaner channel. I like to show you a variety of cleaners. So here is probably the most expensive vacuum cleaner so far that I'm gonna show you on my channel. It's a lovely looking machine. I'm not sure why it's called Tiger. I would thought Zebra would be more appropriate with this absolutely stunning. It's a stunning looking machine. This is one of the nicest looking machines. Well, certainly from the side. It gets a bit uglier when you do that. But from the side, lovely looking vacuum cleaner. I always wanted to get one, couldn't afford one. And they launched them in the UK and thought, oh, you only live once, I'll have it. Um, saying that, I did have a problem. Some people will know. This is the EB400 powerhead that comes with this machine. It's also the standard powerhead with the Volvec VK200 upright. This failed um, within a few months of getting it. It just wouldn't go properly. The red light was flashing. So I had to send it back. They wouldn't replace it. They actually repaired it, but it came back quite scratched. I mean, I've managed to polish out the scratches on the top of this um, head, but I wasn't very happy. They wanted the whole machine back until I explained it, there's nothing wrong with the machine. It's just the head. So it did come back fixed, but yeah, it, it's, it soiled my opinion, or sullied my opinion, should I say, of 
the Vorvec company for a bit. But, uh, well, you, cannot, you can't hold a grudge all your life, so I decided to give it another go. So this is the power head. It works on hard, hard floors and carpets, and it's automatic. And I'll show you it all in action. You don't have to switch anything, don't have to press anything. It senses when it's on the carpet and it senses when it goes onto a hard floor and it will adjust itself automatically. So that's rather cool. And it is a very swish, slim design. So it does go under a lot of low furniture. We have a single wand, which is unusual. It's just a single piece. It's not telescopic. The wand has a very elegant design with this curve and it is very comfortable to use. Here's the handle, which looks pretty normal. I'll just remove it from the wand to show you it. The handle incorporates all the controls you need. There are no controls on the vacuum cleaner itself. You've just got this slide control. So it's off and then you go into soft, which is minimum suction, then medium, maximum, and automatic. Now for most homes with shorter pile carpets and hard floors, automatic is the setting you'll use it in most. When you're cleaning delicate items such as curtains, then you'll need the soft setting for the reduced suction. Now on this particular carpet, many vacuum cleaners don't like it, I can only use the power head on the soft setting. I can increase the suction to medium, sometimes max, when I pull the head back, but if I was to try and go forward on a higher setting than soft, then the power head will cut out. It's got a fail safe feature, so it'll cut out to prevent the motor from straining. So it works fine, it picks up fine on soft, I just can't go any higher normally. So that's all the controls and the hand grip does rotate to prevent the hose from becoming tangled up and the hose itself is tapered so it's narrow at the handle end and quite thick at the cleaner end and despite being a power hose it does rotate 360 degrees so although it is quite it is very very bulky at the cleaner end it's not too inconvenient it does actually swivel around and because the cleaner is on casters it does move in all directions you can store it away with the hose off the machine you just squeeze there's two little green tabs either side squeeze them together there we go and then the hose comes off and as you can see there are electrical connectors to the hose so it just fits in it'll only go in one way you have to line up the electrical connector and just push it in until it clicks so that's the basic machine and when you buy these cleaners you just get the machine i'm showing you now you don't get included any of the optional tools you have to add those all the tools you want i'm going to be showing you all the tools you can buy for this machine in fact we'll take the hose off while i take you around the cleaner make it easier to show you so it's quite a compact machine and it's not too heavy there is a carry handle here you can store the machine on its end or use it on its end if you're cleaning stairs and as you can see underneath we've got two wheels fixed wheels at the back and two silent almost multi-directional casters there's also a little storage slot where you can slide in the wand to hold everything together when it's in your cupboard so also on this machine we have another carry handle which is in a very handy place at point of balance so i have actually cleaned my stairs with this holding it like this it is possible it's not the easiest on stairs i have to say but having a handle there does make a huge difference and you can see you've got the wraparound striped furniture guard that goes all the way around the machine to protect the cleaner and your furniture from knocks and scratches these dots here on the top of the cleaner aren't just for show they actually have a function they tell you how full the bag is so when you're using the machine all these will light up green to show you that the bag is almost empty and as you're filling the bag the status will change so four or two rows lit up green means that the bag is filling up but you don't have to replace it when all the rows light up yellow you need to change the bag if all the lights flash red that means there's a fault with the machine and there's a fault finding section in the instruction book to tell you what to look out for
Yes, this is a bagged vacuum cleaner. I couldn't face going back to a bagless machine for the month of March, so I chose another bagged cleaner, but I will be showing you through the course of my Vacuum of the Month series. I'll be showing you some more bagless machines and cordless cleaners as well, but I couldn't face dirty emptying for the month of March, so I'm sticking with a bag. To access the bag, we've got a little green catch here, and then the whole top cover swivels open and here we have the bags and I have to say these bags and the bags fitted to the upright machine and the upright cordless are the best bags I've used they don't smell like many bags do because they do actually contain little granules of charcoal to absorb any odors and they are extremely efficient at filtering the dirt this is your main filter there is a pre-motor filter just here, if anything should happen to the bag, if, if it becomes damaged and it allows dirt through, this filter will catch any larger particles. There is space for an exhaust filter, but on this model there isn't one. It doesn't need one, in my experience. This bag is the filter. It is the most effective filter I've ever used, I think, on a vacuum. Milo and Sibo do good bags, but I think the Cobalt bags are the premium bags so always buy the genuine ones if you're using an expensive vacuum so it's a large capacity bag and it just fits in to the top just like that we do have a little fragrance chip here if you want to add a fragrance to your cleaning so the exhaust air comes out of here passes through this and it emits a nice smell when you're vacuuming but that's optional you don't have to use that and then finally on the cleaner itself we've got the mains cable which you just pull out when you see the little red line the red label on it it's best to just let it wind back in now it's what they call a pull pull system so there's no button you just pull out the cord to the desired length and just stop and it will lock in place. When you want to rewind it, you just give it a gentle tug, obviously unplug it. And I personally would hold the plug so it doesn't bash into the machine. Let's see if it's gonna do a rewind in one take. Almost. There we go, so that's the cord rewind. So that's the cleaner itself the suction unit that provides the suction and obviously the uh, ET or EB isn't it EB 400 power head for the carpets and hard floors let's have a look at all the other accessories this is going to be a long video here's the first optional head I'm going to show you this is the Cobold HD 60 dedicated hard floor nozzle as you can see it's got brushes and a squeegee at the front and a central air path. This part comes off if it gets very dirty. You can actually wash that or clean any hairs off it. And then it just clips back in. So this is for your hard floors. If you've got uneven stone flooring or wooden floors or delicate floors that you don't want to use the power head on, you can opt for this. Although the power head will clean your hard floors but as I said, if it's an uneven stone quarry floor, you might be better with this head. It also flexes in both directions, like so. So it will reach into smaller areas. So if you come across an area where the, it, the head's too wide, you might be able to get it in like this. So it's spring loaded and it will return to the normal position. And it just fits in onto the end of the wand, just clips into place like the main power nozzle. So that's an optional extra if you want it. The next optional accessory I'm going to show you and will be demonstrating this month is the Cobold VF200. Now this is to convert your Tiger into a carpet cleaning machine. By no means is it a deep cleaner. It's not gonna get deep down dirt out of your carpet and probably not touch any long lasting stains. It's mainly for refreshing and maintaining a relatively clean carpet in a similar way to the Dyson Zorb or the SIBO Duo system. It works using a powder 
the Kobo San Active. So it's a slightly damp powder containing a cleaning chemical. You put it in the hopper here, and then as you push the hopper along, it's distributing the Kobo San onto the carpet, and then the brushes at the front agitate the powder into the carpet. This will not suck up the powder. You have to leave the powder for around half an hour until it dries, and then you use the cleaner to suck up the powder. Now, as I said, it won't deep clean your carpet, but it does make your carpets look better. It can revive the pile. It leaves the carpet feeling softer somehow, and the room smells absolutely heavenly. I can tell you, using this stuff, will make it, it will permeate throughout your whole house so if you've got just a, a musty smelling carpet that could do with freshening up this is what this is designed for but not as a deep cleaner okay well it's on to the bags well one other thing to show you it's not strictly available for this cleaner but it does fit although it does have an adapter i've forgotten about that just need to take this adapter off this is an unusual nozzle So as you can see, it fits the tiger. What do you think this is for, folks? Dusting? No, it's for cleaning windows. Yes, I haven't got, got it to hand, but using a special detergent and a microfiber cloth, what you do, you put the detergent on the cloth, wipe it all over your windows, and then that detergent dries to a powder. And then it's with this soft nozzle, you vacuum the powder off your window hopefully revealing a streak-free shine. Very unusual concept. I hope to demonstrate that during this month or in certainly in a, a video coming up. I will be doing all the features and functions of this cleaner, separate videos for you. So that's something you can buy, but as I said, you have to use it in conjunction with a special window cleaning solution, not just any old solution. It's a solution that dries to a powder. I'm gonna show you this. This is a storage bag, and this is actually the toolkit for my VK200 upright, but everything is compatible. They all take the same fittings. So let's open it up. So here we have a huge array. I told you this video is gonna be long. A huge array of different tools to take your cleaning to every square inch of your home, every surface, I think basically you can clean more or less. There may be some exceptions. Now it does come with this powered hose. Now this powered hose is designed to be used with it upright, but I believe, I think I have tried it before, you can actually connect it to the hose of the cleaner to extend the reach. There you go, so you can. So now, this enables me to clean up to the top of the stairs and I can still use powered accessories because this contains a wire attached to the outside, unlike the hose of the main machine where the wire is built in, it's on the outside of this. But you can still use it. I can attach any of the small tools to it. But it is best used with the powered tools. So this is the Polster Boy for your upholstery. It's got counter rotating brushes. So you can use it like this. You still have to turn the cleaner on and off and adjust the settings because there are no settings on the handle here, but it does work. But this is ideal for stairs, but when you don't need the extra reach, of course, all the powered accessories fit directly onto the hose, or if you want to, they will fit onto the end of the wand. But this is how I would normally use it. So this is the Polster Boy. And it works more like, you use it more like you'd use a clothes brush. You'd, you'd clean the surface in this direction and just sort of brush over your upholstery. You can use it on your stairs. So these are a little bit dirty because it's obviously been used. These are counter rotating brushes. And you've also got a little hole here so if you want to direct suction if you want to clean in uh, down the sides or in between the buttons of upholstered furniture you've got this little slider so you just slide it to the front and then all the suction is diverted to that hole remember to slide it back 
for cleaning all your other surfaces. Now this doesn't just clean your upholstery, it does have other attachments for cleaning your mattress. And again, it's got some powder in. Now this has to be used in conjunction for mattress cleaning with Lavinia. So this is another dry powder, but this is specifically for mattresses. This is supposed to clean and refresh your mattresses and eliminate dust mites, which are in most people's beds. So what you do, you take off this counter rotating brush, it just pulls off. Pull it, pull it from the front and then you vacuum the mattress you can vacuum it with this head you can vacuum it with whatever head you want to use it uh, you can actually if your mattress is hard wearing you can vacuum it with that but this is the head it's more suited for mattresses because I have vacuumed mattresses with a machine with a revolving brush and I've pulled out some of the buttons well one button this doesn't have brushes. These odd, unusual looking sort of rubber flexible pieces, whatever they're made of, these vibrate at high speed, causing a vibration under the nozzle, which agitates the mattress. So it gets down, you know, gets down deep, removes any dead mites, their feces, and of course your skin flakes that are in your mattress. So you use that to clean the mattress. Then you sprinkle on the powder. Again, I'll be showing you all this in separate demos. So there is a lot to show you with this. This is why, this is why the video is gonna be so long. Then you've got this, which looks like a vibro massager. And it's, you can, if you want to massage your body with it, it's not recommended, but you know, whatever floats your boat. But this is meant for your mattress. So again, it clips on to the Polster Boy. Hang on a minute, there we go. This rotates, so you sprinkle on the powder, rub it in using this ro these rotating nodules, leave it half an hour, and then you vacuum it up with this head. So that will refresh your mattress, and as I said, eliminate dust mites, etc. So there's all that. What else have we got? Oh, there's an awful lot to show you. I'll take out this nozzle now. we go here's a dual purpose nozzle well first of all it can act as a small crevice tool in this position but it's also an upholstery tool so you've got a little lever on the top here a little slide control that opens up to produce a nozzle for you, know, you could clean your curtains or your soft furnishings with that and again just do that for getting down the sides. It's not very, you know, long, so it won't get right down deep, but you know, it's good for a lot of things. It also has another attachment that fits on. I can get it out. It's, it was, it was correct, hang on, there we go. So this is sort of your wall and floor brush attachment. So you can use it for really any hard surfaces. I wouldn't personally, if I was to use it just for wall cleaning, I wouldn't use it on the floor as well. I'd just keep it for, you know, cleaning your walls. Some people do have flock wallpaper or even fabric on their walls, believe it or not. And you could use, I suppose you could use this nozzle for cleaning that. One of my favorite nozzles is the dusting tool. I've shown you this before on other videos. So it's got short brushes, ideal for hard wearing lampshades and things but you can do this little party piece extend so if you've got crystal chandeliers as most people do you can dust your crystal chandeliers with this very soft long brushes they do get quite dirty being white but you can clean them and you can have you can have it anyway halfway that's good I use that sort of set for some uh, pleated lampshades I've got I use that Venetian blinds too, ideal for Venetian blinds. So you've got that dusting tool. You've got another crevice tool in this kit, your flexible crevice tool. So you can adjust it, pull it out, look. So you now got a very long tool, who misses, but you can actually get under your appliances like that. And you can, you know, you can angle it. So it's really very good 
get under your stuff and get above stuff as well you know get your cobwebs with this you also have a little brush you can pop on the end like so so you can use the brush with the flexible bit extended or use it like that so that is a very versatile crevice tool one of the uh, most bendy crevice tools I've seen and of course for cleaning up high we can use this optional wand telescopic as I said all these parts I'm showing you will fit the VK200 upright but they're equally at home on the Tiger as well this complete set also comes with a carry strap but it doesn't apply to the Tiger it's only for the upright have I got everything oh no not quite I forgot to show you in combination with the flexible crevice tool we have this attachment here basically all this does it clamps itself to the wall so my hand is the wall and it enables you if you're drilling a hole in the wall it captures all the dust so nothing will go on the floor or carpet it gets sucked into the vacuum is that everything i don't know i, I feel i've forgotten something but i don't know i think that's everything folks oh there's such a lot here i knew i'd forgotten something here's the final attachment the kobold sp600 and this is for cleaning all your hard floors whether it be laminate wood stone lino whatever it should clean all your floors thanks to a number of different cleaning solutions and microfiber pads so in my house i use the kobo clean which is a general purpose cleaner i have amtico floor in my kitchen and a vinyl floor in my bathroom and ensuite and this solution is what i use and i also use the universal cloth you can get different types of cloth there's one specifically for wooden floors as well and another type of cloth but the green one is universal and it's machine washable you can wash these at 60 degrees so they do come clean because i think both of these have been used but they look like new so with this and again there will be a separate video showing you it in action with this one you do put in the detergent into this tank you only need a tiny amount of detergent i'll show you just how little detergent you need take off the cap you see that is your measuring cap so the detergent goes in there top this up with warm water with the detergent obviously the cap only goes in one way I think there we go make sure the caps on tight and then I like to do a bit of water left in that give it a bit of a, a shake to make sure that the solution is mixed well with the water and then it just pops on there and basically this head vacuums and mops at the same time so you don't have to pre vacuum your hard floors so any little bits on the hard floor this will suck it up anything too big I'd, I'd probably pick it up but just general dirt that's on your kitchen floor you know crumbs etc uh, are easily removed because we've got two suction channels on the underside one at the front you can see this is quite dirty because it, it does get used there's one at the front and one at the back and here is where we put the microfiber cloth so um what we have to do and normally this will be attached to the wand obviously i'll show you it with the wand attached this head also fits the uh, vk 200 upright but you can use it obviously with the tiger now if i remember rightly because it is a while since i've used it it's better done on a hard floor with your foot Just press down on that can there we are So this is the part we attach the microfiber cloth to. Oops, there's a little green tab and a slot. You slot the green tab into there and then you just push down like so. And then you pop that on the floor. No, obviously this would normally be done on a hard floor. 
and then basically it takes a bit of getting used to where it goes I think that's it yep it's clipped into place so now when this is connected to the vacuum cleaner the microfiber pad oscillates at a very high speed and is moistened by the cleaning solution obviously any loose debris is being vacuumed up inside the vacuum cleaner and the floor is being scrubbed clean with the microfiber pad and when you've finished you simply eject the pad with your foot pressing on the back of the accessory slide off the pad put it in your washing machine you can use different pads for different rooms keep one for your kitchen one for your bathrooms it's probably best if you want to be really fussy don't use the same pad in your bathroom as your kitchen swap them over and uh, Bob's your uncle so yes I will be showing a separate video of this head in action and showing you what the these are actually lights these wave symbols I'll show you what all that means and how to adjust it well there you go this is the vacuum cleaner I'm going to be using for the month of March which is officially the start of spring cleaning. Well, spring starts on the 20th of March. And traditionally, certainly in the UK, people used to do spring cleaning where they'd wash their curtains, shampoo their carpets, polish the front step, do everything. I don't know if people do that these days, but um, this is why I decided to get this whole system out. So I'm going to be doing my carpets, my mattresses, my windows, all the nooks and crannies everything with this complete cleaning system by Vovac very expensive cleaning system is it going to be worth what I paid for it well by the end of March I'll have made up my mind because I'll have used all these attachments I've shown you and subsequent videos will be coming up showing you all these features in action probably separate videos showing you the uh, mattress cleaning the carpet cleaning window cleaning etc well that's it I finally got round to taking this cleaner for a test drive obviously I have been using it but not videoing it so I do know what it's like I've used everything that I've shown you but I'll be actually demonstrating it and videoing it for you to see it all in action if you have any comments or questions about the tiger please comment below and don't forget tune in throughout the month of March I'll be showing you other vacuum cleaners and possibly some other spring cleaning equipment to get your home cleaning off to a good start get your home spick and span ready for hopefully a lovely hot summer that's it then thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the 1st of April with my conclusions for this but don't forget stay tuned for lots more videos to come during the month of March Bye for now.